Hi everybody, this is Atik. I once again welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. My dear students, let me discuss and start a new Python library which is Matplotlib. Okay, till now we have done various types of Python programs but, but mostly they were dependent on numericals and text. So whatever the output we got, so mostly the output was based on numericals and text. Now here there is one library in Python which is very important which generates the output in GUI based fashion which means graphical user interface based output. So what is matplotlib let us discuss now. Matplotlib is a low level graph plotting library in Python that serves as a visualization utility. So one point is clear that if you want to generate any graphs okay what is the main purpose of generating the graph? for better analyzation of data. So here you can make use of this matplotlib library. And this matplotlib was created by a developer John D. Hunter. So we know that Python supports various types of libraries that can be imported in our Python program. Okay, if you want to use them, you need to import these libraries. Okay, and the power of Python language will increase. The power of Python programs will increase once we include and use these libraries. Okay, next point, what about matplotlib, whether it is open source, yes, it is a open source and we can use it freely. So this library can be included in a Python program and we can use its features, we can use its features without any problem. Matplotlib is mostly written in Python, a few segments are written in C, Objective-C and JavaScript for platform compatibility. So this particular library is mostly written in Python programming language. That's why if we use and import this library in our Python program, then as I already told the power of Python, the power of Python programs will increase dramatically. So dear students, next thing that we need to understand in matplotlib is pyplot. So what is this pyplot now? Sir, already you told that this is a matplotlib library. Okay, then what about this pyplot? So dear students, this pyplot is nothing but it is a sublibrary which is available in matplotlib. So you can see the first point. Most of the matplotlib utilities lies under the pyplot submodule and are usually imported under the plt ls. So here we know that the main library which is used for graphical user based on GUI. Okay, if you want to generate outputs based on GUI, yes, we need to import matplotlib, but along with this. There is a sublibrary under this which is a pyplot. So compulsory we need to import this pyplot which is present in matplotlib. Okay. And we can use the alias plt for this. That is alternate to name. The next things. For example, this is how you, we need to use this pyplot as well as the matplotlib library. You can see here import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So we are referring this entire library with the alias name that is an alternate name plt okay so this plt refers to the pyplot sublibrary which is available in the matplotlib main library so in this way we need to use the import keyword at the top of every python program if you want to include this library okay now we can see here this now the pyplot package this package can be referred to as plt so in the entire program, we can access this sublibrary pyplot by using this plt keyword. Okay, so my dear students, this is all about the pyplot sublibrary which is available in matplotlib. Now in my next sessions of, of our Python course, I will be discussing with all of you what are the types of GUI based outputs we can generate by using this pyplot sublibrary which is available in matplotlib. So number one, I will be showing with all of you in the next sessions how we can draw lines okay, and points as well as next how we can add title, labels and grid lines to a graph. Next how we can draw and generate a scatter plot. Next how we can draw and generate a bar chart and at last I will be showing with all of you how we can draw and generate a pie chart. So all these things these are all visual based outputs and all this we can generate by including this pyplot sublibrary which is available in matplotlib. So my dear students in my next sessions let us discuss and 
let us discuss and write various types of python programs to achieve this types of output so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz Thank you.